this is one of the best RC cars that you can get. The trouble is, it's really expensive. So here we have a similar one, but at a fraction of the cost. This is the 30 degree north short course truck. And it looks very similar to the lossy. But is it as good? And in this video, we're gonna find out. So this is the roller, so no engine and electronics, but it comes with all the engine mounting stuff, a tuned pipe, indestructible body panels, instructions, and a shiwi. This lossy now has a Taylor 50cc engine in it. So the original engine can go into the 30 degree north, an AGF steering servo, a throttle servo out of a Raminator, and my trusty Dumbo radio. So I'm gonna get all that fitted, then take it out for a rip. Yes! So I've already fitted the filter, next I've got to fit the kill switch. This is just in case the battery goes flat or anything happens, it turns the engine off, stops the runaway. For some reason, one of these do not line up. I think it's the engine, because I've had troubles lining this engine up before in a different car. So we've got these little spacers here that lock the engine mesh in, so I'm just gonna put one in there just to hold it. Next up, I'm gonna mount the servos. And now we've got to fit the receiver and the fail safe. And now we can plug the battery in, get the servos all centered off. On the AGF servo, it actually comes with a M3.5 millimeter screw. So we either have to use the horn that comes with the servo or drill out the stock servo arm. Man, these AGF servos have got some power. But for some reason, the receiver is cussing out. You do that a few times. Oh, look. It's starting to... Mm. Don't know what's going on there. I don't know if the servos are drawing too much power and the receiver can't cope. No idea. We'll have a look at that in a minute. But first, let's get the exhaust on and the body panels. So that's the mechanics all done. Next, let's get the body panels on. And there we go, ready to rip. So I'm going to run it on this engine for now, and then later on, we're going to spice it up and put this Taylor 35cc racing engine into it. So we've got double wishbone suspension, front and rear, with coilover shocks, a 7075 T6 aluminium chassis. Usually only really high-end RC cars come with 7075 T6 chassis. It's four-wheel drive, we've got dual disc brakes, and a virtually indestructible body shell. Now there are a load more technical specifications, but I'm not going to boy with the techno babble so i'm just going to put a link down below where you can get the car from and we can get all the specifications from i got this one here from rc models if you scroll down you can also get all the other bits you need to get this car to run and the price is a lot lot cheaper than the lossy equivalent so i'm interested to see how it's going to stack up against the lossy sometimes buy cheap buy twice but not always in a minute we're going to see and off camera i'm going to sort out this glitchingness in here no idea what's causing it i'd let you know in a minute. Boom! Sorted it. So I took out the Dumbo receiver and I just fitted a Spectrum one and now look, it's working perfectly. Here we are on location. So Max has got his lossy version. Get a bit of juice in there. This is already pre-mixed. 25 to 1 we got in here. But this is my old engine out of my old lossy so it should work. Pump him up. I think we've got to pull it till we hear a pop and then we can turn the choke off and then it should run. Oh, right. Choke off. Yeah. Ah. Easy. Ah. So here's Max's one, the official lossy one. It's got the Taylor RC chassis on there. Stock engine, 30 degree north pipe, so it should have about the same power. What uh, fuel ratio are you running? It's probably about 40 to one, I'd say. So yours should be faster. And what about gearing wise? You stock gearing? Yeah, stock gearing. All right, well, we'll have a little race in a minute, so get him going. Oh, <laughs> oh, 
Face time, you ready? Yeah. They should, in theory, be the same. Ready, steady, go. What happened? How they both die? <laughs> Chassis is perfect. The old 70 75. <laughs> Take body off and have an investigation. What? Right there, it's crispy. <laughs> oh, it's a poop. Oh, you're new in it. <laughs> no, I didn't in it. My car was over it. Oh, people that let dogs poo, they shouldn't be allowed dogs. Just to clear it up, man. How can you leave that in a playground? Tour the battery and do. Oh, it could be worse. Shut up. It could be mine. <laughs> anyway, oh, it is mine actually. Right, let's get the body off and have a look. So far, super impressed with that. It handles good. I think it jumps better than Max's one as well. I don't know why it cut out. But that's what we did the car's fault. So have a little look, get it going again, and then we'll do something else with it in this video. So I found my problem, I think. That's just come off. So get that back on there. It should, in theory, go again now. So Max, what's your problem? It's ripped out there. Oh, the receiver power. So mm. that's come off and the fail safe kicked in. So mm. somehow you've got to... And duct tape it on there? Wait, unless I clamp it under there and then duct tape that. That's asking for a runaway. <laughs> Oh, Max is getting told off. <laughs> So this is the Sky RC GPS. Everyone always asks us in the comments what you use, but you've got to buy that. Get the there app you on go. your phone. Right. One. Yep. Ready? Yeah. Thirty-seven mile an hour. 